and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Burn. We're going over to Bilgewater and combining Bilgewater with Piltover and Zahn for a Burn style deck with, of course, our favorite champion, Teemo. Um, and then, you know, some Burn style cards that some other ones that, uh, you know, are just all about uh, burning the Nexus. So we got Broom, Boom Crew Rookie. Not Broom Crew Rookie. <laughs> bringing the brooms. Uh, used Cask Salesman. You know, another one like that. Um, or even playing Double Up. Deal two to an enemy. If it kills it, then four to the enemy Nexus. So this is going to be basically like our version of Decimate. Which is a little worse. It's just it's worse than Decimate because it's got to... Um, at some times. Um, hey, thanks, Togrek. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. And there we go to Vaza. Awesome. First sub of the day. Uh, you know, it's got to kill a unit with that two damage. But then if it does, it does the four to them. And it also is a removal spell. Of course, that can be even increased with powder kegs. That's going to be a big part of our deck. We got pow uh, Petty Officer, Dreadway Deckhand, um, Gangplank, of course, brings powder kegs out there. And then even one copy of more powder to be able to get a couple of more of those. I'm not sure about the Prowling Cutthroat, honestly. I feel like this card's probably going to be pretty weak. Um, but it's just there to try to strike the Nexus some. Along with our Teemo. Pick a card will be our uh, card advantage. And that's about it. And then we just got Burn Spells to kind of finish it out. All right, so let's try out this Teemo burn deck. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. Okay, let's see how we do. And then after this, you know, like, so we just got done with the lab. That was a whole lot of fun, especially like our, our last game there in the lab. We got to do some crazy stuff. Uh, those of y'all later on YouTube, if you didn't check that out. Um, hope you check that out. Hope you also just kind of relax sometimes with playing some labs. Uh, we're also going to be playing the gauntlet, the tri-region singleton gauntlet. I haven't seen what that looks like at all. And so we'll kind of explore that together up next. This hand looks pretty good. Is Dreadway Deckhand worth it? No. I know we get the, the powder keg, but I don't think it's worth it. Butcher hits more this turn. If they don't... Like, the problem... So, basically, I could go Butcher, but then if they have their best card, if they have the one mana 1-1... One, one, then I feel bad about playing Butcher because then I get zero damage in. This is like definitely getting one damage in. Okay, let's see. Let's just attack on in here, get some three threes. Better run. This is a two drop that match that Boom Crew matches up great against Thorny Toad as far as uh, two drops how they match up. Looks like I'm probably gonna Mystic Shot that Jaw Hunters. Probably. But we'll see. I would like to play Sprayfin first and Attune and get then get the second mana for Mystic Shot. That's what I want to do. Vessel Good. Small, but she ain't lacking courage. Going harvesting. No. So this, at worst, did that. At worst, we only, you know, it, it was the same as one Mystic Shot. Uh, but it had the upside of 
being able to kill two of those. I'm surprised it's not blocking the 3-3, three -three, to be honest. Done a good job of leveling up leveling up our gangplank. The rock must be cut away. So I can more powder and then Mystic Shot and kill Maokai, but they are at seven. Seven is not very much. But that does just slow them down even more. Hmm. It doesn't seem like they have Vile Feast. It seems like if they would have had Vile Feast, they would have killed something a while ago. This could be crazy for my burn deck of killing Maokai and not doing 4 damage to them. But you know, just this kind of deck, like, they can have, like, Grass of the Undying, Withering Whale. Like, they may not be as, as dead as it looks, and that should just slow them down a lot, not having access to Maokai and getting, like, the, the two ones that go challenge my elusives. And all that kind of stuff. I I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. But I like killing that thing. Keep up, keep up. see. Maybe I should just block this Thorny Toad. Maybe I should just not not have killed their 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Alright, worked out. Worked out. Crown icon is if you have uh, Twitch Prime. If you connect your, if you have, if you have Amazon Prime, connect your Twitch account to that. You get Twitch Prime, and then you get the crown icon. And if you have Twitch Prime, you get a free sub each month to somebody. You can subscribe to one channel. Sejuani Ash. That's going to be a tough matchup because it always is for every deck. Do you think that we need to curve out? I like the Salesman, but I, I want one drops. Best one drop. Two, three, get him, Teemo. We get to strike with Teemo. And then play 3-3 three, three, Dragon Butcher. They, yeah, they may in the future, Cake. I mean, the, um, 
the game's still new, you know, like they're they're gonna continue to add more and more League of Legends champions, um, you know, as we go on and as new sets come out and, and everything. Like these are just the original cards that we have currently. We're gonna have a new set with new cards coming up later this month in on the 26th, so only just 11 days away. And lucky you. All right, so we'll be using Mystic Shot on the four two. And then every two months after that, we're going to have new cards. So we're going to have um, a new expansion in October, then a new one in December, and then another new large expansion in February with a new set then as well. I can do this. Not rewarded. You won't feel it first. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're rewarded for playing the Boomker rookie. So I'm, I'm attacking with, with both of these so that they... Okay. Let's see, I don't want them to block and kill Boomker rookie. I don't think. So let's see. So I Mystic Shot the 3-1. We keep rookie alive. Which, maybe it's better just to let this happen and keep Mystic Shots. Mystic go. Shots like something that we can actually use with all these powder kegs that we can have. Dang, I would have loved to have that last turn. Pretty surprised they don't challenge the powder keg. Who's that you got there? You dare slack on my ship. Mega Rain would have helped level up Gangplank. Good, no Fury of the North, that's good. Alright, they're down to 10. We're at 3 out of 5 with Gangplank. Sure, if I just play more powder or not. All the world on one arrow. Okay, I think I figured out if I should or not. So the thing is, is I want to do this next turn because I want it to help level up Gangplank. Pretty greedy waiting till next turn though. It's pretty greedy. You own what you take. Okay, awesome. So it did the same. Three damage to them also, so that puts them down to six. So Gangplank is now four out of five. And this one's dead, but we got a new one. Dead men tell my tale. My tale. Hmm. 
If I cast Mega Rain, no, we just we just go to attacks, don't we? You won't feel it first. If I cast Mega Rain first, then we get the Gangplank attack ability. Gangplank will have six health. Water is mine and mine alone. All right, we doubled up their puff caps there at one. They got 28 puff caps, 27 cards. Feeling pretty good about this. Took the bait. All right, drop puff cap. There we go. The trapper definitely helped them, right? Because then they put the Yeti, so they had a you know one third chance of drawing a Yeti, which the Yeti would not have had any puff caps because they, they just put it into their deck. All right, and we have uh, our second win, two and zero. Oh. Burn deck's looking pretty good. We had, we did have turn one Teemo that game, and they never had a removal spell for Teemo. That definitely helps. That definitely helps. All right, misfortune quit. I just don't really want to discard anything to get excited, so I don't really want to get excited right away. I like, okay, I, yeah, I like Mis uh, Mega Rain, Mystic Shot. I like those more to pair with our Powder Keg. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Gonna grab another powder keg with the petty officer, and so now Mega Rain's gonna be doing three damage, and hopefully that's three damage at Misfortune. You know, like hope that'd be great to just clear up all three of those with with one Mega Rain. Hopefully this works. Yes. Let's go. Man, what? That's just the best variance we could have. <laughs> that was the best variance we could have. Does still kill those, but. So I guess it's not as good. Because they just killed those two with the, for free. Maybe I should have just shuffled the Boom Crew. Maybe I should have just kept Boom Crew in hand to shuffle with the uh, pick a card.
All right, so we'll see what we got going on. It's possible Zap Spray thing could find us another Make It Rain. The ocean charts our course. Keep up, keep up. More powder. Even more powder. Always forward. I guess I really didn't need to cast that Mystic Shot. I mean, I wanted to kill that Warchefs. I guess that was doing zero. Right, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I do wish I never played this Boom Crew Rookie and I would have it to get rid of. I can't even really attack with it. Like, if I do... I don't know, we turn their Unscarred Reaver into being a 3-2. splinter. I'm not sold that pick a card is better than salvage, to be honest. Okay. Not bad. And of course, the, yeah, those puff gaps help our gangplank level up. Alright, gonna get the powder keg so I can mystic shot and kill the 3-3. Three, three. Scouting ahead. <clears throat> you picked the losing side! I think I'd rather do that than um, do three damage to them. Only it's that great of attack, so you know now my my gangplank can attack. Yeah, basically, we get to just attack with everything now. Um, Boom crew rookie. I think it's okay to attack with Boom crew rookie by now. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Cabo, did you want me to wait with this? Oh, I, I never saw I never saw any message with that. Oh, I'm sorry, Cabo. Yeah, you, you typed it in chat, and I, I guess I didn't see it. Okay, sorry about that. All right, 3-0. Yeah, I don't know who's doing like the the mining the voice tracks kind of thing, and that you know, so then they have the voice, you know, so somebody mines the voice tracks and says like who Riot has gotten for all the voice tracks in the game, so then people know who the champions are going to be coming up. I don't like that. I wish they didn't do that, so that, like the reveals would be. 
you know, it would be more special about having all those voice track things. So I haven't I haven't looked up any any voice tracks and, and anything like that. Like I don't want to know. Swain Twisted Fate. Just keep this. Uh, yeah, you went with the fast burn. So yeah, you're you're just playing uh, double up as a. Um, it's just decimate basically for you. And so you're going that route instead of. Um, instead of Riptide Rex. Which I think's okay. I I would prefer Riptide Rex still. <laughs> There's still even a pretty decent chance that Riptide Rex does do a ton of damage for you. Card is just so good. So basically, Petty Officer is good to play before uh, we attack, but I think if I play Petty Officer, it's very likely they have Petty Officer this turn without them doing anything. Last turn, I just think it's super likely they play Petty Officer, and then, yeah, and then it makes my attack with Boom Crew Rookie look really bad if I, um, if I play my Petty Officer first, so just play that. And... I know I had Jagged Butcher Plunder enabled. Jagged Butcher Plunder doesn't match up that well against Petty Officer anyway. Yeah, I'm not sold that Pick a Card's better than Salvage. I feel like Salvage is probably better. They both basically get you two cards. The pick a card makes you return one card, and then also you have to be able to cast everything the very next turn with the pick a card. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely going, definitely being aggressive. Take it up with my friends. I'm gonna Mystic Shot the three two to keep my Boom Crew rookie alive. I didn't want to do that before. Yeah, you know, I don't want to just cast Mystic Shot first and let them play another blocker. I love that. I love that. He started without me. Yeah, I, I just want to get these more powders in play before I before I play double up. That's what I was hoping. At least at least one more powder. At least one powder keg, I guess. Not more powder, sorry. Just one powder keg. It's not a bad make it rain though either.
pretty good make a rain. What you got? Him to zero, okay. We'll, we'll have you go to zero. We are four and oh. We even need this extra burn. So we would like to go to zero. I said, okay, you can do that. All right, we're four and oh with our Teemo burn deck, running people over. Been working out well so far. We've been our powder kegs, like make it rain powder kegs, have been doing really well for us. We've been we've been getting some good variants here. Five win dream. Let's go. This is gonna be pretty interesting. We're playing the burn mirror, but they're you know they're the traditional Noxus version. Well, salesman's kind of let's see. Okay, so they have the attack token turn three. Yes, we'll keep salesman. Um, which one of these? So I'm attacking turn two. So I guess I'd rather play rookie attacking. Do I want deckhand for like turn four? So like I'm gonna go Teemo rookie salesman. Do we want to keep deckhand? Maybe we do. Basically, I, I love the salesman against. Um, I love it against Draven, their other champion. Like you know, they play Draven turn three, and you know how you can never block Draven, but the salesman does a great job of blocking Draven. We want something to do with these powder cakes. We want like make it rain. That'd be a good one. Better run. It's Graven time. damage this used cask salesman just saved us. A lot of damage. damage removal spell, right? Like, we need Make It Rain, Mystic Shot. We need something like that. They got their own Boom Crew rookie, huh? Here. 
No, it does four damage to them. I kill two units, does four damage to them. But then I also give them a spinning axe. And then I don't have blockers on the way back. Don't really like all those things put together. Yuck. Really wanted something to use this powder keg with. Yeah, I guess it's true. It would have been five damage. Then I wouldn't have the powder keg also. So then I would have had, yeah, I would have had only one blocker on the way back. Yeah, I definitely don't want to make that attack. Draven is so good. I wish I would have mulliganed for removal spells more. Boom Kuroki. Didn't do a ton. We just, we just need burn spells. Like, maybe I'm supposed to just pick a card this turn and just not even play the Gangplank. Yay, burn spell. Okay, so that will kill. Kill Draven. Do I look like a patient man? Yeah, there's one more powder in the list, yes. And it's been just it's been just fine for us. I like have I think that's that's perfectly fine having one. Obviously if they kill my powder keg. Try to kill one of these things and then kill the powder keg. I'm toast. Because this thing actually, you know, I guess this thing attacks for six. So it does attack for the most. Get excited is what we need. See, okay, so that was kind of my plan was to like attack Mystic Draven, but then 
But then I was worried about Whirling Death, and I didn't want to really wait for Whirling Death first. But I guess... I guess maybe that's what I was supposed to do, was wait to see if they have Whirling Death, and if they don't, like, the damage just happens, and if the damage happens, then, you know, then go Mystic Shot afterwards. I don't know. I don't think we're winning that. Like, those cards they have. I don't think there's really a line that we're winning that. Obviously, the line that I took didn't work out whatsoever. Obviously. It, it was a very poor line for how things played out. But, uh, yeah, even, even if, best case scenario, we go and Mystic Shot that, we're still not winning that because then they still have the Arena Battlecaster, all that stuff. They have the Decimate. We still, we're still just dead. So, yeah, they had, they had a great hand. So, GG's. Um, Boom Kuroki was okay for us, but I, I don't think this card's very good, but it was okay for us. Um, we, we played against some times where we got pretty lucky of, like, the best case scenarios for Boom Kuroki a couple of times. Um, but we kind of saw that game, the, the worst case scenario where they just play you know, a house spider, and it can't get through. I, don't know, I just don't love this card. Um, yeah, 4-1's four ones, four ones very good. 4-1's very good. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, f I mean, it's probably just my own personal style, but I would I would like going a little bit bigger and turning it a little bit more mid rangey but you know maybe that that maybe that wouldn't be as successful as going more burn like it is right now you know as we talked about like I would rather have riptide rex than double up for example um and uh but I don't know I I liked the used cast salesman that card was good and then obviously like your powder kegs with make it rain like that's just amazing and that's that's a real strength to our deck, all these powder kegs with Make It Rain. The Cutthroat was better than I expected. I didn't really expect very much out of this card, but it was better than I expected. Um, it did some some good stuff too. So yeah, nice aggressive deck. If you like being real aggressive, if that's your play style, um, this is a, a, you know, felt like a pretty decent version here of Burn. So give this one a try. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Y'all know how much I appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you for the next video.